How about a quick shout out to our viewers in Australia, Finland, Mexico, Norway, Philippines, Romania, United Kingdom, Canada, and the United States. Thanks for hanging out with us. We are on uh, Expedition NA-151 with Ocean Networks Canada. We are just waiting for our is that an octopus? Ooh, octopus. Yes, it is. Oh, well, I know there where I'm go. going. Someone we are just waiting for the super octopus. super excited about <laughs> someone with, who was it that was so frustrated for having missed all the octopus? I missed them all, so this is great. Really? Yeah. Oh. What? Every time I step out of the van, someone, someone sees an octopus. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> and it's funny because I was just about to step out again. So. Uh -huh. You just can never leave. This looks like the same octopus we saw in Endeavor, like the same species. Species? Well, unless they all kind of look like this. Eight legs. Arms. Arms. Go ahead and zoom in video. Roger that. I don't know. Maybe it looks different. Stuff to tell. Pretty beautiful. It looks. All right, and Ooh. just so people know, it's it's harder than it looks to get the uh, organism in frame. Two meters up, just come down a little. Yeah, that makes, makes sense. <coughs> I scared him. Come down and gently land right there, you'll get some good video. This one's a little kind of, it's got some more texture to his head. Yeah. Good observation. Yeah, I don't think it's the same as the one we saw before. Look at that. That's, it looks like he's got all terrains on. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks pretty funny in the um, still camera there. Get him in frame. There we go. Right there. There he Whoa. is. Aww. So my guess would be this is the Granulodon Pacifica. Almost looks elephant-like. I was just thinking that. Yeah. My dust cloud's gonna ruin the picture. Man, no, this is fantastic. Yeah. This guy is just like, are you gonna sit here and stare at me? All day? I'm more than happy to. What is it? Uh, it's a uh, Granulodon Pacifica. Oh. I would think, but uh, I am not an expert. This yeah, is highlight worthy? Oh, this is 100% highlight worthy. This is what we live for in the highlight world. Never quite know what we're gonna see. Mm-hmm. But we do love some octopuses. I think they're most people's favorites. They are quite fun. And they've got those cute big eyes. I mean, oh, I know. say no to that. Yeah. Oh, here's a question that's just come in. Is there a way to tell the age of an octopus? Ooh. Um, well, a lot of octopus species don't live very long. Um, but they don't have, like, a hard part that we can use to, to like, date them. Like fish have otoliths in their ears, which we can section and count the rings and uh, determine a fish's age. An uh, octopus doesn't really have that, so no, there's no real way to, to age Ooh. these creatures. Um, but understanding their life cycle, you can, based on their size, uh, guess quite about how old they are. But your common shallow water octopuses only live maybe three years, uh, and they uh, pass on after they've reproduced. Actually, that's a, another question. So I know like with fish, with salmon in the Pacific Northwest, for example, mm -hmm. we have semelparous salmon. They breed once, then they die. Right. Is that word semelparous, can that also be used to refer to these octopus because they breed once and then die? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say so. Um, some of the other octopuses, like the um, Dumbo octopuses, mm -hmm. they actually lay their eggs on corals and things. And oh. so um, they live a lot longer and they can reproduce multiple times. Um, but these ones will brood their uh, young under rocks and ledges and uh, then pass away after that. So your brooding octopuses tend to be the ones that only reprodu reproduce once. Right. I know we've... Um on the Ocean Networks Canada YouTube channel. If you go to Creatures of the Deep playlist, um, we have Cracky the Octopus. <laughs> Looks like they're almost doing a wheelie. Yeah. We have an observant viewer from Florida who has noticed that the, um, the suckers on the arms are kind of like offset. 
but that um, maybe there's not that same kind of uh, offset pattern on on other species. Um, well, I'd ha I'm not I'm not quite sure about that. I'm sure that different octopus species, like we have different spacing and patterning uh, in the way their suckers are, because that that would just make sense. Uh, but I actually have not had the opportunity to study a bunch of octopus species so close up yeah. to be able to say that for sure. Um, but yeah, cool. That would be a fun thing to research, you know. Not sure what that information would bring to science, but it's a neat observation. They have sensors in their tentacles as well, nerves. And oh yeah, their arms. and tasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they have, actually their intelligence is actually, intelligence is spread out throughout their body. So like if an arm gets disconnected, it can continue to move on its own uh, for a while, not just flailing, but like with purpose. Um, yeah, and so the arms can actually act independently of each other. So the sci-fi movies are based in some reality where the giant octopus is attacking the boat and they lop off a tentacle, but a tentacle still yeah, that's, attacks the that's a thing. semen. Huh. They have a um, they have a more developed nerve. Do they have like a um, like a neural ganglius? Mm hmm Yeah. So much more um, developed, evolved than the other mollusks. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if they lived longer, they could really, you know, give do us some, a run, yeah, run for, for our money. money. Yeah, I think <laughs> so. You know. The ones that they've had in aquariums, uh, there are like a number of accounts of octopuses, you know, escaping it's, their ta yeah. tanks and yeah. then doing some shenanigans around the aquarium and then returning to their tank like nothing had happened. So, so like finding Dory is it's like fairly scientifically accurate. Oh yeah, that was, you know, something that had happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was one at. Uh, Maybe uh, not, you know, helping a fish escape. But like consuming a fish that it wasn't supposed to. They have some wild stories of the, I forget the name, uh, I have it named the Hatfield Marine Science Center in Newport. The octopus has escaped his tank and gone walk about. Yeah. And oh, gone and back into his tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't ne never know if I believed it or not. I don't, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, they totally do that. And they, they can survive, at least the shallow one ones can uh, survive quite a long time out of water. You know, they, they just go explore and just, come back. Yeah, go explore. I love that. And they have a natural curiosity, so they'll just sort of do things to keep themselves entertained. Yeah, they would give it. Give, I think it was her. They would give her um, toys to play with. Oh yeah, like, like open them stuff them and, and yeah. like go through m mazes to find a treat. Yeah, they really enjoy that type of enrichment. Back where where I'm from. Um, oh, there oh, there she goes. Whoa, it's my birthday. friend. That was a cool takeoff. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Octopus <laughs> friend. That was fantastic. Octopus is like, okay, we've been talking about me for so long. <laughs>